was all very accidental. Literally, because I'm always really busy, not surprisingly, because I've got my fingers in a lot of pies, a lot of things to do, um, meant that basically I didn't have the time to write so much about it. And sometimes a picture can tell a thousand words. So I would put a picture up on social media. That was where it all started. It was about six years ago. I had a following of 992 followers and that's when I went to London and very proudly announced this and set off to write my first book and now I think it's just over a hundred thousand and I mean it's it's kind of it's just a visual representation of what's going on on the farm so anything and everything but if you combine the elements of of course the weather the scenery children animals all the things that you're not supposed to work with basically and shove them all together then you're bound to get a picture and how far away, you know, have people sort of interacted with you on social media? Oh, I get, I literally, there are messages coming in from all over the world. You know, um, I believe the programme is out at the moment um, in New Zealand. So it doesn't get further than that, I don't think. So we watch, I mean, we watch you every week and there's Clive and there's your nine children. Yes. Tell me about your romantic meeting with Clive. The romantic meeting with Clive that never was. Yes! It was 1996, um, I was a shepherd, I was a freelance shepherd, I was working um, on a dairy farm over in Cumbria and um, the chap had, the farmer had a, a small flock, I swear don't you, and um, he would borrow a tup, a ram every year um, off his friend who was called Clive and one evening after milking he gave me instructions and directions as to where I had to go and get this top. So I drove and I drove and I drove and I drove and I didn't know where I was going but literally I was coming back, it was a homecoming in a roundabout way because I drove over that border back into Yorkshire, back onto my home turf and um, basically I drove, it's about 10 miles of nothing through the heaven and across the moor on a single track road and then came down, drove across the ford, it, that was like Harriet too, through the water splash and up into the yard and it was really dark so I never got a right good look at Clyde um, but I got a good look at the tub and he was fine and we loaded him into the trailer and I had a cup of tea and that was it and then I was off away again back to civilization. about a week afterwards um, the phone rang and it was Clive ringing to find out if I wanted to um, meet up again. Well, I ignored him. Not any of that, not interested. Um, and then, couldn't he left a message um, and it said, Amanda, I've been to the moor and I've gathered my sheep and, and my favourite yow's coming with a broken leg and I can't possibly hold a still and set the leg at the same time. Well, he reeled me in like you would not believe. That was it. I was there and it was the start of a beautiful relationship and four years later we got married and then 20 years later we've got nine children. If he could have seen in a crystal ball, he so would not have done that, would he? <laughs> Can you imagine? And if you look in your crystal ball, can you see sort of double figures for the kids? <gasps> oh, I don't know. You must bear in mind that there never was a plan. There was never any family planning, certainly. But there was, there was, there's, there never has been a plan. And I think that is probably what has brought us to where we're at now. Because, 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 you know, the best laid plans and all that, we know what happens to them. So we just go with the flow take whatever comes our way and just, I suppose, um, count our blessings. So what have we got, um, you know, lined up regarding more books, more filming? Oh, yes. There's always something lined up with me. Never a dull moment. So, we are filming. And I'm also, in my spare time, don't laugh, um, writing again. I haven't put the pen away just yet. So yeah, book number four. Well, Amanda Owen, thank you very much. We'll look forward to more adventures on the farm with you.